Uh, we saw you had a, you did a shoey uh, at the end there. I uh, want to ask whose shoe was it? Was it a mate? Was it someone random from the crowd? I should have got 50k just for the shoey. <laughs> <laughs> was it a random shoe? Of course it was a random shoe. Wow. Anybody's shoe. Can I ask what drink it was? It was a Jimmy too, it made me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, uh, Cyril put in a went into this fight, it took a lot of your shots. What did you think about him being able to take so many, so many of your hard shots? Tough dude, real tough dude. Much respect to uh, Cyril. Were you surprised by how many of your shots he was able to take and that he was still standing for a really long time? Surprised I didn't get the 50k. Are you going to be chasing that up? You came in here before looking for Mick Maynard. Mickey, come on bro. Where's, what's the goes? Should have got it, don't you reckon? Do you think you'll speak to him after this? I think he got the <laughs> uh, The entrance song, Horses, why, why that song? They actually played the, the wrong version. They played the funeral version. But um, the faster one was, was what, I was, what I was going for. But Horses is a, you know, Dale Braithway is an Australian classic. And I'm on home soil, so, and the fans love it. So do I. Is it true you and Tyson are having a bit of a contest? Who had the better walkout? Who had the better entrance music? Come on, bro. You know I'm always got the better ones. Nah, it's not a contest. But, you know, we say what we're going to do. We go out there. I think we both should have got performance of the night. I think uh, everyone else thought we should have got performance of the night. But old mate nearly ripped someone's bloody arm off. And, like, I elbowed old bad back to France. And, like, <laughs> Fucking nothing, you know what I mean? Now I'm gonna go home and cry all night. Uh, when you were throwing shots at Cyril and you know really landing on him, in the back of your mind, were you sort of conscious of not punching yourself out, or was that not really a factor for you? No, I took my time. Uh, I knew uh, after the first couple, I was like, damn, this guy's strong. But uh, I knew if I butted the body up a little bit, um, it's all gonna come. Um, I don't think there'll be uh, many people be able to stand in front of me for a while but um I trained hard you know so and, and I prepared hard and, and I got in there and did what I did and still didn't get 50k what did you think of the stare down when you and him uh, locked eyes at the media day stare down you were very very relaxed and he, he, he looked like he was trying to get serious yeah I don't really do too well at stare downs like I I either like just look away or like I'm just like fuck, let's fight. Like I don't want to sneer. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I'm a pretty happy kind of guy. So, but he, he, he was alright. I shook his hand there before the like. I don't really care. We're, in, we're gonna get in the cage anyway. It doesn't matter to me. So. You've only had not. you've only had two fights in the UFC, but two big finishes. The crowd's loving you. How much of an impact do you think you've made so far in, in just two fights? Fuck, at least fifty k impact. <laughs> Are you, but, but anyway, look, looking at uh, going into this fight, there was a few fighters that apparently turned down fights with you. Apparently, six fighters. Are you concerned that the way you're finishing opponents, you might keep running into that problem in the future? Bro, I don't really, I don't really care. We're, we're going to fight. Everyone's going to run into each other. As long as I prepare myself, I'm going to rock up and fight. Doesn't matter who. Just last thing for me, what did you think of the Mark Hunt fight? Obviously, a lot of Australian fans disappointed. Tyson was speaking about it before. What did you think of that one? Yeah, I know. Mean, gutted for Mark, you know. It, of course, it's it's shit to watch your, you know, a teammate uh, lose. But but Mark, Mark was still in high spirits when he came out, you know. Uh, Blades did good. Oh, boring, but like good. <laughs> but um, he did well, and that's the fight game, man. Eh? He didn't want to call you know, anyone out. Are you interested in a fight with Blades potentially? Uh, sort of avenging the loss for Mark? Oh, I heard he said something about me um, after it, but then I, I asked him about it and then he didn't, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, if he's fighting five and then he wants to fight a nobody, I don't really care. That's good enough for me. But, um, like I said, we're all, everyone's going to run into each other anyway. Uh, we're, we're part of the younger crew of the of the heavyweights, so I'll see. I'll see everyone. Everyone. Will. Do you feel like you guys are kind of what what the division needs? You and Curtis Blades, both really young guys, and the division's obviously full of guys that are already v veterans, and some of them are on the way out. Do you feel like that's kind of what the division needs? Well, they need me. Fuck, the division's boring. They're all 
like there's heavyweights fighting for like three rounds. I think it's boring. It's shit. Like what what happened to the days of going out there and giving what the people want to see? You know, some blood and and, and the rest of it. But I suppose everyone doesn't want to get a, a one on their on their on their record. You know, but I don't really care. I want to go out there and put a show on for the fans. Congrats on the win. Cheers, bro.